Somerset College is uh, an independent co-educational school. We are located in the heart of the Gold Coast, um, just in Mudrubar. Um, we have students from pre-prep right the way through to Year 12. We offer the international baccalaureate programs from um, the primary years program, the middle years program and the diploma. Um, we also offer the students in Year 11 and 12 the opportunity to do the Queensland Certificate of Education and gain an ATAR for university entry. From GGS we've purchased a Sawgrass SG800 sublimation printer with heat press and we also purchased a rolling vinyl cutter. Uh, we're currently using the dye sublimation printer and vinyl cutter for various subjects such as engineering and design. Um, it's great with a dye sublimation printer, we could print onto t-shirts and different fabrics to create different images such as things on shirts. We've used shirts for um, various school events we've had and we've actually printed our school logo and designs on those shirts. And with those vinyl cutters we could use them for subjects like design, creating stickers and designs to put on things like surfboard, aircraft and even stickers to put on windows. Using these digital print solutions from GJS, it gives us the opportunity to um, bring the students' designs to life really quickly and um, it's really good for them to then see their ideas come from their, um, perhaps their illustration on their computer um, and then they put that onto their product. So one of the products that we make using the dye sublimation printer are these ribbons for our sporting teams. This one is for our My Touch football team in APS Sport to represent that we're part of the APS team. We also use it making t-shirts for different committees. So once we print our designs, we put the design on the shirt where we want it to go and then we put a heat transfer sheet on top of it and push down the heat press. So it's a pretty simple process and really easy to use. Yeah, the machines are pretty easy to use. Most of them you can just make an Illustrator file and send it straight there and it'll just cut it out for you or you just print it off, put it on, put the t-shirt on the press and press it together and then yeah. you make, make the shirt. One of the biggest advantages that we feel having these, um, access to this technology for our students is the ability for them to see their designs come to life. Um, they work with the design process from end to end. Um, they can bring their initial concepts through to creation um, and those are some really useful practical skills that they can use throughout their school life and also when they leave school and go into the workforce. Now that we have all the facilities and the dye sublimation printer, we can show off our designs using t-shirts and ribbons instead of it all being digital on our laptops. It's a lot more fun and creative to be able to actually create the design. Yeah, I know a project I've been making is I des designed and built a solar powered airplane and I needed to make um, logos for the aircraft and I actually needed to make checklists and procedures on the aircraft so I could make sure I'm doing everything right. And I just used the vinyl cutter and designed some quick checklists and quick logos to not only make the airplane look cool, but make it even more functional, which was great. And then I, for my personal project, I made my own unique um, designs and then used the vinyl cutter to make the stickers so I could put them onto my personal project surfboard to make it super, look super cool. The impact the digital print solutions have had on our students um, has been really, really exciting. They um, have got such a broad access to different tools and materials now. Um, it's really opened up the scope for what they can do in design. Also um, across the faculty in visual arts, digital design and media arts as well. Um, we have students that take subjects, uh, more than one subject in our faculty and they're learning skills in, in one area and then t applying them in another area. Um, and you know that could be making props for their um, visual artwork or for their media filming. Um, it could be making tracks for their robots to follow on different surfaces and, and all these products that we can make. Um, it's been facilitated by the, the tools that we've bought, the machines that we've bought from GJS. <laughs>